On today's show, it's our Christmas special. Stay tuned for stories about athletics, choir, guitar, art, and much more. The Spartan Times starts now. Merry Christmas to all, and especially to you Spartans. My name is Chris Gonzalez, and welcome to the third annual Christmas episode. And please remember to stay at the end for our yearly Christmas video to see what some Spartans do over Christmas break and see if they've been good or bad. Starting off the show, we are going to be talking about an amazing artist we have here at Pebble Hills High School by the name of Karen Hernandez. She has won two competitions at the EPCC Art Fair, so here's Patrick with his recap with her win. I'm Karen Hernandez and I am currently in AP Art and Animation 2. It's been a struggle a lot of times because uh, I had to learn new programs for the digital classes and especially Maya. Here Karen tells me about her recent victory in her art career. I recently won at EPCC Art Show. Um, I got honorable mention, which was pretty big considering that in total there was 1,200 entries, but that's not counting how much it was split up in the divisions. Pebble Hills is one of the only schools in SISD that is currently doing digital art classes, so it would be good to take advantage of this opportunity. They won out of our school. So technically my artwork was representing all the art department for here, which, which is pretty big considering that it was also the only digital piece we submitted. No, wait, there was two, um, but still. I asked Karen about how important this accomplishment was for her and got to see her pride in it, even see her laugh a little bit. Um, it's pretty important considering that it was one of my digital art pieces because traditional art is usually regarded higher at the EPCC art show since currently it's the majority of the work. Um, I found it pretty amazing considering that this is the second year in a row that I was the only one that won it uh, from the school, which is kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, man. Karen gives a quick call to action to underclassmen to try and help them get into the art program. Do art, <laughs> especially digital art, because it's like a new thing. And as the years go on, I'm pretty sure technology is gonna take over at some point, and digital art is gonna be one of the most prominent mediums that you can get. Thanks, Patrick, for giving us that recap of a wonderful student at our school. Next up, NFL is a big thing right now, especially for us Cowboy fans. So next, we have a little recap of how the NFL is so far and how it may affect some of the teams and their fans. Of course, I'd like to wish a good luck to the best NFL team there is. Go Cowboys! The NFL playoffs is here. So far, only the Ravens, Patriots, Seahawks, and Packers have clinched a playoff spot. The Cowboys, 49ers, Chiefs, and more are still fighting for their spot in the playoff bracket. Teams have been competing for their playoff spot for 15 weeks now. Now it all comes down to how they perform against other teams. The number one seed in the AOC Conference is the Ravens. In a close second is the Patriots. The 
the number one seed in the NFC Conference is the Seahawks. And then second seed is the Packers. Also, the MVP race started weeks ago, and the top five candidates are number five, Aaron Rodgers, number four, Dak Prescott, number three, Christian McCaffrey. Number two, Russell Wilson. And number one, Lamar Jackson. Great recap from DJ. Next up, I know the break is coming up soon and you're probably going out on the road or out of town. So make sure you are safe and careful on the road. So here we have a PSA called End the Streak that talks about traffic safety and what we can do to be more careful on the road. Every day, millions and millions of people drive to work, school, stores, and many other places. Vehicles have become an essential part of our everyday lives as we depend on them to get us to our location. But the thing that we depend on the most is actually one of the highest cause of death in the world. In 2017, there was approximately 3,722 fatalities in Texas. These accidents are due to distractions, reckless driving, bad weather, drunk driving, and many other things. According to the Department of Transportation, every day since November 7th, year 2000, someone has passed away due to traffic-related accidents, and only has the death on Texas roads increased every year. The reactions to these unfortunate occurrings was the hashtag and the streak Texas, encouraging everyone to share on social media to spread awareness of the dangers that can happen while driving. Many people all around the world do not practice safe driving, such as putting on a seatbelt and paying attention on the road. So make sure to buckle up and drive safely. Yaritza for that great PSA about road safety and everyone please be careful. We want all of our Spartans to have fun but to also be safe during the break. Some more sports news we have for you is actually about some athletic students here because we had our fall athletic signing day where they had signed their national letters of intent. Hi Spartans, last week our Pearl Hills Athletic Department had their 2019 Fall Athletic Signing Day and a few other Spartans Athletic Signing National Letters of Intent to Play Football and Baseball at the college level. Here are the few of the highlights. These young men that are sitting here to my right have done something extraordinary in my opinion. They've not only combined their athletic talents on the fields, courts, what have you, but also in the classroom. Part of achievement is not only what you do out there on the field, it's also what you do inside the classroom. They say that the key to success is what you do when people aren't looking. First I want to thank my teammates. Uh, they made it fun for me. It's always been competitive. My coaches, always there for me. Always there when I need them, when I need to talk. You know, last but not least, I really want to thank my parents. Mama, you do so much for me, and you are doing so much support. My dad, you made so many sacrifices for me to be where I am today. And I appreciate that, and I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, first of all, I thank my parents for everything they've done for me. Uh, seeing my practice, dealing with me every day. Uh, I can be a fan, I know that. Um, 
Next, I have to thank my coaches, Coach Alvarez. He never gave up on me uh, to put me to do my best every day. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be here right now. <clears throat> I'd like to give thanks to the men above for blessing me with the opportunity to play the game I love and for also putting me in the position I'm in today. Although my senior year didn't really go as planned, it taught me how to overcome many obstacles and to never give up. To my wonderful parents and my loving sister. Well, there you have it, Spartans. Congratulations to all the athletes and their families. This is Mike, back to you in the studio. Great to see some of our athletes are already making great choices for their future career while also knowing what they want, which is a bright and great future. And next we have a gift to you all from our choir and guitar Spartans as we have made a recap for their latest concerts. Let's take a look and see how they're doing so far. See our Spartans are improving. Keep getting better, guys. We wish the best of luck for your other concerts, and thanks to Emily and Rodney for making this amazing recap for them. Moving on, have you ever wanted to be an avid? Well, if you ever did, now's your chance. So here's Laisha with the story. Hey Spartans, do you guys know what AVID stands for? Well, AVID stands for Advanced Via Individual Determination. It is a school program that helps prepare students for college readiness throughout their high school careers. 
Why don't we go around and hear from some of the teachers and students who are involved in AVID and see what they can tell us about it. AVID is different than other organizations because we are the only college and career readiness program here on campus. Um, the goal of our program is to prepare all students for pretty much post-secondary success by giving you guys the skills and tools needed for getting into college, but not only that, making sure that you guys finish in four years. AVID's helped me be organized throughout time and get ready for college, being prepared for like the real world with resumes, um, meeting certain deadlines, just keeping up with high school overall. Well, my favorite parts about AVID are the fact that they take us to field trips like to any like college because most students, they don't really know what college they want to go to and like if we just stay here, like we won't really experience anything. So they take us like out of El Paso to different like parts of Texas to see different colleges and that's really fun and we also get to have like Christmas parties or like potlucks like anything. I love when we do the team buildings they're funny and they're fun and you just see everyone having a good time and actually enjoying AVID rather than like always being pressured and um, how can I say it? staying on top of everything that's like your little brief moment. piece of advice I give my students is that um, first that college is for everyone and that everyone can complete a college education. Um, it just takes hard work and it takes time management. Another um, thing that I tell my students is that they should never settle for the GPA or the ranking if they're not happy with it and that there's more than enough time to make a change, work hard and get to where they want to be. As you heard, AVID is not only a place where you will be pushed to meet your goals, but it's also a place where you will meet people that will stay with you for a lifetime. Take a chance and talk to Ms. Franco about being part of our Pebble Hills AVID family now. Well, that's it for me today. Back to you on the studio. Great, there's still ways to join AVID. Maybe I'll give it a look if I'm not that busy. And if you want more information about AVID, please see Ms. Franco or Ms. Gallegos on how to join. Last up, next is the part you've all been waiting for, is the Christmas video. Let's take a look at what we got. What I do for Christmas was we go as a family to my grandma's house and we make homemade tamales and we just make a lot, a lot that lasts us forever. So that's what my Christmas consists of, tamales and talking with my family and eating lots of good food and yeah. Um, so we eat a lot because we're some fatties. Um, we dance, we sing, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we eat a lot too. <laughs> And we play games and yeah. It all depends on who I'm with, you know, broken family. <laughs> but if I'm with my mom, usually we do like Christmas Eve, like we all get together and then we open presents at midnight. And then when my <clears throat> with my dad, we do uh, Christmas morning. For Christmas, I just spend time with family. You know, I, I believe it's like the most important part of the holidays. good this year. I've got good grades and I've done all my chores so yeah I think I've been extra good this year. Um, I've been a little bit above, not gonna lie. I've been pretty good. I'm not naughty. You're such a liar bro, she lying. I honestly don't know because I don't believe in Santa Claus but I've been uh, somewhat good. A little bit above, I'm not gonna lie to you but mostly good. Well, one thing for sure is that I was definitely good this year, which is probably no surprise with anyone. But I've got a secret for that video. It was actually made by me. But we want to show you Spartans how Christmas can be celebrated in different ways. Well, this has been Chris Gonzalez signing off. Before I go, have an amazing Christmas and be safe Spartans. We hope you're ready for next semester.